It is the strongest sign yet that the spread of the Delta variant is uh, threatening to derail Europe's travel recovery. Take a look at all the countries where it's been detected. The European CDC says the variant is spreading so fast it's on track to make up 90% of new COVID cases in the European Union by the end of August. And the Indian government says the Delta Plus variant first detected there has spread mostly outside India and is reported in nine other countries. Tom Jenkins is a CEO of the European Tourism Association. He's in Wales for us. Uh, I mean, it's a really difficult situation, isn't it, for travellers? But for your industry, I mean, how on earth are you managing to plan anything when every government seems to have a different policy and keeps changing it all the time? Uh, yeah, I think you're right. Um, uh, how on earth? I think the... Um... I, the difficulty is, as you pointed out, is that the travel industry um, adds value by planning and you can't make plans at the moment. Uh, so it is really a very difficult time. Um, I, I think one of the strange things that's happening is that most of the dialogue, um, certainly in Europe, is surrounding um, whether or not the principal big outbound nations are going to allow their, their, their people to uh, to travel, so you're you're hearing whether or not in the UK the discussions entirely as as to where the UK can go to. Um, what's totally missing from this is a discussion of the inbound problem. And um, tourism into the UK is a vast industry. It's a thirty, as you know, it's a it's a forty five billion dollar industry, and it's not there at the moment. And it's utterly crucial to the service economy of the UK. And yet at the moment, uh, there's very little discussion of it. 50% uh, of Oxford Street, for instance, the shop, main shopping street in London, relies on vis foreign visitors for spending. Um, and this is, so this is a severe problem they've got. Um, this new system that the UK is looking towards is, um, you know, if someone's double vaccinated, uh, they'll be able to travel to a wider range of countries. That seems like common sense to, to many travellers. I mean, we're not, you and I aren't medical experts. We're not here to decide what the best thing is for the variant. But in terms of travel, a lot of people wondering why they double vaccinated when it doesn't actually give them any more freedoms. But that's probably something that you would um, sympathise with, presumably. Well, it is entirely sensible and logical. Uh, what's uh, strange is this has been mooted now for two to three weeks um, and it's still edging onto the agenda. I believe Boris Johnson today said that double vaccination creates a real opportunity uh, for relaxing travel restrictions. Um, the use of real as a qualifying adjective by, by the current prime minister is slightly alarming. Um, uh, reality, along with truth, can be sacrificed for, for operational necessity fairly rapidly. And I, I, um, I think there's, there's not, a lot of, um, not a lot of certainty. I think underneath all this, I would stress that it's looking as though um, the system is going to start opening up. Um, I, all the nations of Europe are starting to make it clear, of the EU at any rate, starting to make it clear that American visitors are welcome, uh, particularly the American visitors who've got double vaccinations. And I think that the direction of travel at the moment is going to be towards more relaxation, though um, well, in all truth, say... the Delta variant may be may be the complicating fact. Well, you say that because obviously the Delta variant is growing pretty rapidly in the United States and Merkel and Macron indicating that they're going to close down countries effectively or travellers from countries where the Delta variant is spreading very quickly. So that may not be the case and it may not, you know, there's going to be other variants that follow. So those sure. European I mean, I mean, governments... We also, know it's spreading, sorry, we also know it's spreading rapidly in Europe. So, um, you know, they're in a real bind and you, you never know quite whether or not how far these guys are playing to the gallery or not. I think the other interesting question is that um, what pressure is going to be placed on Spain if the UK have opened up access to the Balearics and Angela Merkel is saying that uh, uh, British people should be quarantined upon arrival in the EU. Um, never forget that the second, first or second most important uh, market for the Balearics is Germany. And so Angela Merkel, Angela Merkel has a tap there, which... Um, is as important, if not more important, than the UK one.
Well, it's difficult for everyone, isn't it, this situation? Difficult for politicians to come up with policies that everyone's happy with as well. But uh, Tom Jenkins, thanks for giving us the tourism industry's point of view on it.